Hi everyone, welcome to JE Max, JE Mains Advanced Extreme Series. Welcome. Season number two of JE Max. Actually, through this season, we are completely concentrating on a chapter, and in season two, we are completely concentrating on the most important chapter, which is useful for JE Mains and Advanced Nothing But Complex Numbers. And my friends, please don't forget to check the description. There, I am providing very good information and question papers and all previous links of the previous videos also. This is about lesson number 18 of complex numbers so far. We have successfully completed lesson number 17. All these previous lessons, those links that uh, you will get through links in our description. And that's why please, please don't uh, forget to share and press the bell icon and check the description. Now, in uh, lesson number 18 of uh, complex numbers, here, in uh, up to uh, lesson number 17, we have been concentrated uh, 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 equation of the line and the magics of the lines in complex numbers. That means uh, if two points are given for you, what is the equation of the line passing through two points and two points are given for you, what is the equation of the line passing through two points and slope and moreover complex slope and condition for parallel lines, perpendicular lines uh, and put all the perpendicular image, everything that we have practiced. Now coming to the uh, circle concepts in the complex numbers and uh, again after that uh, here the most important point is uh, 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 among all 18 lessons uh, the most key, key points that again I am recalling that as the facts because if you are thorough with all these facts and all then solving the problems becomes very easy for you. Now, again, lesson number 18 is also very, very useful and important for you. Now, coming to the lesson number 18. Now, here, this is what equation of the circle in the complex plane. You know it very well. If uh, uh, center C is given for you, center as uh, C is given for you, or center as origin is given for you, and radius small r is given for you, what is equation of the circle is nothing but x square plus y square is equal to r square this is equation of the circle and if center as h comma k is given for you and radius as r is given for you then equation of the circle with the center h comma k and radius r is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square how can we prove the same thing here also we are doing with the complex numbers see the thing so, equation of the circle with the center z0 and radius small r where r is a real number is nothing but mod of z minus z0 is equal to r. After simplification, you will get this as equation. How to get it? See, this is the basic information. So, as per the diagram, op is equal to small r. op means mod z minus z0 is equal to r square on both sides. That is mod of z minus z0 whole square is equal to r square. What is z mod z whole square? That is z z bar z minus z0 into z minus z0 bar is equal to r square. This is the property of conjugate. And this is z minus z0 into this is z bar minus z0 bar is equal to r square. You simplify this, you will get this as the answer. That is z z bar minus z naught bar z minus z naught z bar plus mod z naught square minus r square equal to Yeah, x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. This is what general equation of the circuit in coordinate geometry. Like that, here also we can derive the general equation of the circle uh, in the complex plane. So, this is the general equation of the circuit. Only thing is, if you z is equal to x plus i y, you just uh, substitute uh, z with x plus i y, then z bar is equal to x minus i y, then if you have substituted it after simplification, you will get that as what? x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2 f plus equal to 0. And for this circle, this is the center and this is the radius. Please practice. This is very, very important. Please practice and this is very, very important. Okay, my friends. Now, coming to the circle with extremities as diameter is given for you. Actually, if uh, uh, these are the extremities A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2, these are the extremities of the diameter given for you, then equation of the circle is given by X minus X1 into X minus X2 plus Y minus Y1 into Y minus Y2 equal to 0. That is the equation of the circle when extremities of the diameter are given for you. The same thing here in the form of Z minus Z2 into Z bar minus Z1 bar 
plus z minus z1 into z bar minus z2 bar equal to 0. So, almost all uh, these are all of the similar versions of uh, uh, coordinate geometry, ordinary coordinate, two dimensional coordinate geometry. But uh, proofs are not necessary here, but uh, these formulas are very, very useful. Whenever it requires, you just replace z1 with x1 plus i y1 and z2 with x plus i y2 and substitute them and solve them and you equate uh, real and imaginary parts, you will get the corresponding uh, Cartesian forms uh, uh, very easily. There you can understand uh, what is the equation circle when uh, extremities of the diameters are given for you and that extra information also. So, this is the thing. And my friends, actually this, how can we derive? The proof is also very simple for you because if it is A, uh, this is right angle and this is AZ1 and this is BZ2 and this is PZ. Actually here, if I have taken this as my direction, so this is angle between argument of APB, argument of APB is equal to 90 degrees. That is argument of APB, the, according to the previous videos, that is what argument of angle APB, APB equal to 90 degrees. That is argument of this man, that is Z2 minus Z by Z2 minus Z is equal to pi by 2. Whenever argument is pi by 2, it is what purely imaginary. When a complex number is purely imaginary, z plus z bar is equal to what? 0. So, this is the reason. So, you just apply z plus z bar is equal to 0. Simplify this, you will get the answer. So, this is the way to prove this result. But if you want a Cartesian form proof, then replace z1 is equal to x1 plus iy1 and z2 is equal to x2 plus iy2 and z2 with x plus iy. And equate real and imaginary parts separately, you will get the answers. But here, what I did, I have applied the rotation technique. As per the rotation technique, if this is in the anti-clockwise direction, so I am rotating AP to PB. So finally, the argument between uh, the angle between AP and PB is equal to pi by 2. If it is taking as plus, plus why I have written plus or minus pi by 2? Because if I have taken, uh, if I have not mentioned any particular direction, I can take only plus pi by 2. If I have not mentioned any direction, I am taking plus or minus pi by 2 because I don't know whether I am considering it into the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. If I have considered them into the clockwise direction, then I can take minus pi by 2. If I have considered them into the anti-clockwise direction, I consider it as pi by 2. You see, here I have not mentioned anything. That's why I am taking plus or minus pi by 2. Anyhow, this is the argument. Argument of the complex number is pi by 2. This is another important point. That means it is purely imaginary. So, z minus z2 by z minus z1 is purely imaginary. Whenever a complex number is purely imaginary, then z is equal to minus z bar. That means z plus z bar is equal to 0. That means z minus z2 by z minus z1 plus z minus z2 by z minus z1 bar equal to 0. Simplify this, you will get the answer. This is the easy way to prove the equation of the circle when extremities of the diameters are given for you. And the another form of the uh, circle is, uh, it is given like this. Because it is very simple from the diagram, because it is a right angle triangle, therefore AP squared plus PB squared is equal to AB squared. AP square means mod of, this is distance, AB, AP means distance, AP square means mod z minus z1 whole square and this is PB square that is mod z minus z2 whole square is equal to AB square mod z1 minus z2 whole square, simple. After simplification, you will get the answer very easily. So, these are all several methods. But here, then the proof, this principle is very, very important. We can utilize this funda in solving some other questions in coming lessons. And of course, my friends, condition for consecutive. See, four points are said to be consecutive, they lie on the circle. Like this. Like this. If the points are consecutive, then sum of the angles is 180 degrees. That means if this is theta, then this is what pi minus theta. This is the condition for consecutive. So, if the points are consecutive, then sum of the opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees. Use this factor. So, based on this, we can derive this result. 
so this is also very very important several times the questions were asked based on this concept like points so z1 z2 z3 z4 are said to be constant like if they are lie on a circle and it is possible if z4 minus z1 by z3 minus z4 minus z2 into z3 minus z2 by, you please it is purely real it is purely real how to prove this how to prove this here i am giving the proof like this so from the diagram it is very clear that angle bac is theta and angle dcb is equal to pi minus theta so some of these angles is equal to 180 degrees so this is the angle argument this i can write this as the argument this is equal to 180 degrees argument of z1 plus z2 is equal to argument of z1 z2 is equal to 180 degrees whenever argument of the complex number is uh, uh, zero or pi then it is called what purely real whenever a complex number is said to be purely real then z is equal to z1 not necessary anyhow so you need to practice this as the formula so this is the condition uh, for concentric you please by heart this as the result standard result hope my friends now i am recalling all the beautiful important facts so far we have covered among these 18 lessons that is so angle bac what is angle bac so angle bac means this i can represent like this if a b c angle bac is argument of c bac suppose z3 minus z1 by angle bac is nothing but z3 minus z1 by z2 minus z1 suppose angle pqr how to write angle r by uh, argument of fx of r minus fx of q by fx of p minus fx of q simple this subtraction by this subtraction this is the easy way to practice whenever an angle something angle is given and nothing nothing has been mentioned means uh, the direction it means whether it is a clock or anti clock you have to write like this if it is clock you can consider that as positive angle if it is anti clock you can consider that as negative so that's why you please practice these techniques clear so angle uh, xyz suppose angle xyz xyz is given for you and uh, ox uh, x is nothing but z1 and y is nothing but z2 and uh, z is nothing but z3 then what is that z3 minus uh, z2 by z1 minus uh, z2 that's all. here this is the common point so please practice this formula like this and now coming to the second point if z comma z1 comma z2 are complex numbers then argument of z bar is equal to minus argument z please by heart please by heart because in coming uh, in chapters in coming exercise we are now entering into the solving the problems there these results are very very useful please by heart the argument of z bar is equal to minus argument z in general in general argument of z bar is equal to 2n5 we are adding the general value 2n5 minus argument z similarly argument of z1 z2 is equal to argument z1 plus argument z2 already told argument is principal argument but principal argument need not be the argument that's why these results are holds good only for argument not for principal argument the already that i have explained in our previous videos please check the previous videos or please check the description there i am providing the links of the previous videos similarly argument of z1 z2 bar is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 bar but argument of z2 bar is minus argument z2 therefore after simplification you can get argument z1 minus argument z2 similar argument of z1 by z2 is equal to argument z1 minus argument z2 again i am telling this is the these are the results holds good only for the argument not for the principal argument but what is the relation between argument and principal argument argument is the principal argument but principal argument need not be the argument for to find the argument we are finding the angles of solving 0 to 2 pi whereas for principal argument the theta must lie between what minus pi to pi only that's why if you are good at finding the argument and location locating the argument and finding the modulus uh, then uh, complex numbers chapter is nothing for you okay my friend and argument of z is equal to theta then argument of minus z is equal to theta minus 5 if theta is positive theta plus 5 if theta is negative if you know the argument of the complex number then argument of the negative of the complex number is uh, 
theta minus 5. What? When, when theta is greater than 0 and theta plus 5 when theta is less than 0. As a bits also, they are very, very important because uh, in general in the mains examination, uh, they are asking these are the uh, um, questions uh, in ob objective paper. And coming to argument of 1 by z is equal to minus theta. If you know the argument of the complex number as z is equal to theta, then argument of 1 by z is equal to minus theta. Okay. And argument of 1 by z bar is equal to theta. Because if z is equal to 1 plus i, say for example, what is argument of z? That is a tan pi by 4, that is pi by 4. Then what is the argument of 1 by z? That is argument of 1 by 1 plus i. That is argument of 1 minus i by 2. That is nothing but minus theta, that is minus pi by 4, not necessary to solve actually. And what is argument of 1 by z bar? That is a argument of 1 by 1 minus i. That is argument of 1 plus i by 2. Similarly, that is nothing but what? Pi by 4. Like this, if you are practicing the problem, then problems becomes very easy for you. Now, if argument of z is equal to 0 or pi, then it is what? Real and positive. If it is pi, then it is real and negative. That is why, whatever it may be, argument is 0 or pi, it is what? Real. It is real. If it is real, argument of z is equal to 0, then it is real and positive. It is pi, then it is real and negative. Not every real number is positive, not every real number is negative. But all positive numbers are real, but all and similar all negative numbers are real. Now coming to argument of z is equal to pi by 2 implies z is purely imaginary and imaginary z is positive. This is important. So whenever argument of the complex number is pi by 2, then the complex number is a purely imaginary number and moreover the imaginary part of the complex number is always what to positive. And similarly, whenever argument of the complex number is minus pi by 2, it is purely imaginary and the imaginary part of the complex number is negative. My friends, these are the very, 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 very important points you should have to practice. If you are thorough and master these things, then problems in the complex numbers are very easy for you. This is my humble request to all. Please, uh, by heart, and practice this format. Hope uh, you enjoy this video. If, if you like this, please uh, share and subscribe my channel and uh, uh, press the bell icon. Don't forget to press the bell icon. We will meet with the next lessons soon. Okay. So, this is about the mo most important elementary theoretical version of the complex numbers. With the help of this information only, you can do maximum problems in complex numbers. Practice all these lessons. And please check the description there. I am providing every information for you. Okay, my friends. Thank you once again.